A Prayer for the Pursuit of Perfection by Meg Booker, read by Leah Martin. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew 5, 48. Why do you expect me to be perfect? Every teenager asks this as they're being disciplined or held accountable. The pressure that they and, and we put on ourselves to be better than we are is more immense than we like to admit. Buried under denial, shame, and guilt lies a sinner in everyone in need of a savior. I don't expect you to be perfect, I repeatedly explained to my daughter, but I do expect your best effort. Our Heavenly Father expects and holds us accountable for no less a standard. The same effort one student applies to achieve straight A's could lead the next to barely passing grades. The effort is the most important lesson in character development. The above verse commands us to be perfect or complete and whole. The NIV Study Bible explains of Matthew 5.48, Jesus sets up the high ideal of perfect or complete love, including both attitude and action. This is God's high standard for his people, empowered by the presence of Jesus in their midst. Perfection is an illusion for humanity but not for God. We strive for it because in every human heart lies the desire to be closer to God. To be close to our holy God requires the pursuit of perfection. The NIV application commentary explains, the future tense holds out an emphatic goal that's to shape the disciples' entire life. The future tense also implies a promise because the Father is not only the divine goal, but also the divine enabler. Jesus puts his command in such a way that disciples may look for divine help as they press toward God's goal for them. Life within the love of Christ Jesus allows us to tap into divine power to achieve a level of obedience and success, which we couldn't accomplish in our own strength. Jesus' use of the word perfection was in the context of an objective goal. We can and do achieve great things without a thought towards God, but in this verse, Christ is calling us to do more than just reach a worldly benchmark. The perfection he's commanding us to aim for is complete, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Perfection is achieved by the Spirit of the living God living in us. Paul also wrote, But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. 1 Corinthians 13.10 God doesn't ask us to be perfect here on earth, much like I don't expect my children to be perfect. But he does command we stay on the path toward perfection and seek him with all our hearts. Let's pray now for God to help us persevere until the day we're finally and completely made perfect. Father, we praise you for this day and your purpose for it. This is the day that you have made and we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Father, let the chains of our sins fall off so we may run unhindered after Christ Jesus today and always. Remove the self-condemnation, the shame and the guilt we feel when we sin, mess things up and fall terribly short. Renew us each day, Father God. Restore us on the road to perfection, which will culminate when we meet you in heaven for eternity. Oh God, help us to focus on your perfection and rely completely on you as we journey through this day. Help us to forgive ourselves alongside others, Father. Enable us to run free and hard in the race you've set for us to run, not for earthly crowns, but for the eternal reward and rest of heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.